gunned down from behind. It is quite possible that someone saw what happened to Oakland Post editor Chauncey Bailey on the morning of August 2nd here on the corner of 14th Street and Alice. People here tell me it is a fairly busy intersection, even at 7.30 in the morning. Are you a 7.30 in the morning kind of person? I am, and I park right over there. But yeah, by 7, 7.30, people are starting to go to work. There's, there's quite a few people. But the question is, if someone saw what happened to Bailey, would they come forward? I asked people in this area that question. Would I come forward? It's not an easy question for some. I would have to say it, it could be a 50-50. It depends, huh? Yeah. I, w I would like to think that I would come forward. But for others, there's no question about it. Yeah, I mean, I would step up and say something, absolutely. I, I'd, I'd call and try to do what I could to help. I mean, I wouldn't run to the assailant who's holding a weapon, but I would definitely get on my mobile phone and make a phone call. Adding to the question is if someone could live with themselves knowing they witnessed a brutal crime. It'd be, it'd be rough for the rest of my life to live with that, you know, knowing that I know how somebody died. Oakland police say, unfortunately, many homicide cases go unsolved for lack of witnesses coming forward. But they hope a $10,000 reward may entice someone who may have seen something that morning to do just that. Reporting from Oakland, this is Hazik Madhyun, Cron 4 News.